Welcome to the Inside Story. Today we're talking about a debate that is raging over something called gentle parenting. Really interesting topic, and I have none other than Leah Klett to join me to talk all about this. How are you doing today, Leah? Hey, Billy. I'm great. How are you? I am doing well. You always have great content, interesting articles over at the Christian Post. This one caught my eye, and the title of it is The Gospel Coalition article slamming gentle parenting sparks sparks debate among Christian parenting experts. And let's just start before we get into this debate. What is gentle parenting? Well, that is the question, Billy. It is very popular in recent years, and so there's a lot of debate over what exactly is gentle parenting. It's also called respectful parenting or mindful parenting. Other times it's called intentional parenting, but it basically centers on acknowledging a child's feelings and the motivations behind, you know, challenging behavior as opposed to correcting behavior itself. And according to a definition from the Cleveland Clinic, which is sort of, you know, the, 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 the place to make a definition, the goal is essentially to raise these confident, independent, and happy kids through empathy, respect, and understanding and setting boundaries. Yeah. So that, that is interesting. And, you know, as a parent, we're both parents, we know it can be challenging sometimes to deal with, uh, children's behavior and to help correct wrongs. And we're kind of, yeah, as a parent, I feel like you're always, it's like on the job training always. Right. And so, um, interesting sort of hearing that that definition. But now the debate that we're talking about that is currently going on that is sort of kicked up into high gear, it happened after a pastor wrote an article for the Gospel Coalition critiquing gentle parenting. What's the story there with this article? Yeah, so Bernard Howard, he is a pastor and a father, and he essentially argued that gentle parenting contradicts biblical principles. Um and he said he said that a lot of it stands opposed to the Bible's teachings about parenting. And he he so essentially he challenges the belief that children's bad behavior is caused by external factors and can be mitigated through, you know, emotional validation without the need for punishment. Um, he he really argues, and I think this was the sticking point for a lot of people. He argues that punishment needs to hurt in order to be effective. And he essentially suggests that the primary, if not most important component of quote unquote biblical parenting is retributive discipline. Um, And and this really upset a lot of people because gentle parenting in a way is backlash to very punitive authoritarian parenting that was somewhat common throughout the late 80s, early 90s. Yeah, well, it's, you know, you look at this debate about spanking and not spanking, and obviously, you know, the way that that culture handles that, the debate over time out, I mean, all these different things, you know, a lot of parents, they find themselves sort of beside themselves because they're not sure what to do, that nothing's working, they're not sure how to get their kids to behave in the right way, they've tried different things, and this is why, honestly, I mean, there are some books that I feel like are written a thousand times, the same book with different authors and in, in a different way, all these parenting books are trying to help because people struggle, you know, in this area. And so you mentioned there what Bernard Howard is arguing when it comes to gentle parenting and the biblical commands and truths, which I I think is really interesting. What are the counter arguments now? Because I know some people have spoken out as a result of what um, Howard wrote. What are we hearing from the other side? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, there's, you know, people were very reactive across social media. So that was really interesting to see between Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. A lot of people essentially said that Howard does not seem to understand what gentle parenting actually is. Um, And so, you know, the responses that were interesting to me were from fellow Christians, pastors, parents. There's one guy named David Erickson, and he's the founder of Flourishing Homes and Families, which is a big social media platform which advocates for gentle parenting. But he he really criticized the author for misrepresenting gentle parenting as permissive and really failing to distinguish it from authoritative parenting. Which, which balances guidance with empathy. So he really said that a Christ-centered approach to parenting aligns with the principles of gentle parenting, which essentially seeks to nurture and guide children in a manner that's reflective of God's love and grace, right? Other people warned that 
stressing the importance of painful punishment really promotes enables child abuse because what exactly con constitutes painful punishment is not clearly defined in Howard's article. And he does write from the Bible's point of view, it's impossible to shape a child's character without demonstrating the seriousness of wrongdoing through retributory punishment. And he, he says that, you know, God lovingly punishes his children throughout scripture in painful ways. Civil authorities punish people in painful ways. And thus we should punish children in painful ways. Yeah. I mean, this is, I, I think those are really interesting points and, you know, seeing who God is throughout scripture in the old and new Testament, understanding the, the complexities um, at moments and, and the multifaceted nature of who he is and how that translates into who we're called to be, especially as parents, it gets a little challenging. I see why there's a debate there in terms of how, you know, we best facilitate that. I mean, is there, in your view, is there a middle ground on this? Is there a middle ground approach where there's some gentle parenting and maybe some of what Howard is is talking about? You know, Billy, I wish I had all the answers. I have three children. I'm pregnant with my fourth. I think any parent of small children can tell you, tell you that children are sinful. I think we can agree <laughs> that discipline is biblical. Um, the Bible even says that the Lord disciplines those that he loves. It's definitely biblical. At the same time, I think it's really important to reflect Jesus Christ and his teaching and his attitude towards kids in the way that we parent, right? Jesus welcomed and loved the little children and said, cursed is anyone who causes them to stumble. Jesus respected and loved these children. Um, and it also aligns with, with scripture to help kids understand why what they're doing is wrong. We're punishing them to help them understand their behavior. Um, the Bible's clear that kids need a savior, that they're sinful. So there are definitely aspects of gentle parenting that are biblical, I think at the same time, we need to prepare our children to live as faithful disciples in a fallen world. And that does mean helping them understand the magnitude of their sin and doing it in a gracious way. So I think there's room for aspects of gentle parenting in biblical parenting. Yeah. I mean, that that's the thing, right? That we, we have to guide children. I think there was a time in culture in American culture where it's sort of be seen and not heard, you know, children really didn't have, have a voice. They were sort of, you know, not necessarily nurtured emotionally. And, you know, I mean, look, emotions can be deceitful. We don't want to let our emotions drive us, but they are a part of who we are. And God gave us emotions for a reason. Right. And so, you know, making sure that we're nurturing children, helping them learn and understand why certain behaviors aren't okay. And it is a challenge. As you said, you're about to have your, I have two kids. You're about to have your fourth kid. And you know, you, you have those moments where you're just like, what in the world do I do to stop this meltdown? Or how do I help my kid recognize that this is not the right way to react to whatever it is they're reacting to. And so these are, great conversations um, to have. And, you know, I don't know, I, I look at it and I just think, man, we, we have a lot to argue about, right, in the, in the mm -hmm. church. And this is another example of the, of the ways in which I think we sort of come forward and, and battle over things that maybe there's more of a, a middle ground approach to as you just sort of mapped out. I think so. I think it's, it's it's pretty nuanced. And I think it's important for any parent to ask themselves if there are areas of gentle parenting that don't align with the biblical worldview, that don't align with scripture. And I think we always have to be praying for discernment in how we raise our children. Every child is so different and responds to parenting in different ways. And so I think at the end of the day, you know, we need to pray for God's wisdom. We need to model the example of Jesus. Absolutely. Absolutely. Modeling the example of Jesus. And you mentioned something else there. I just want to underscore no matter what topic we're talking about, making sure whatever we're hearing or seeing or whatever is happening, that it's happening or being said in accordance with Christ and truth and not, you know, coming from a human whim or from some place that is not going to align us with scripture. I mean, that's incredibly important. And again, whether it's parenting or anything else, Leah, I appreciate you taking the time today. Absolutely, Billy. Thanks as always. Everyone else, make sure you head over to the Christian Post. You can read Leah's article and plenty of other content there today. And we will see you again on next week's show.